A good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Fans of all types. Types. <laughs> Brainiacs okay. and brainy nerds. You've tuned in just in time for our weekly live stream brain scan. We're going <laughs> to review some, we're going to have some very mellow music oh, yeah. that rolls us into a nice mellow tour of the store for brain scan. Welcome. Yay. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Brain Scan. We're here at Green Brain Comics. We will tour the store. We will peruse the racks. We will scan the shelves oh. and show you all the new books hitting the racks this week, Wednesday, September 16th. Oh man. 2020. Almost halfway huh. over. <laughs> September's halfway yeah, over. September is halfway over. I can't believe it. Halloween's coming. Get spoopy, y'all. Oh, it's spoopy time. <laughs> I'm also giving people a 3D modeling uh, preview of Katie's new haircut. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I finally, I finally broke quarantine haircut. I just could not stand it anymore. It had been ten months since Whoa. my last haircut. My name is Katie. It's been ten months since my last haircut. <laughs> and as you can see, they cut it all. It's all gone. All gone. Bye, hair. Bye. New hair. Hello, <laughs> new comics. Yay. I'm Katie. And I'm Shay. Let's get ready to look at some new comics. Woo! Woo! Nothing on that show. Nothing on the magazine rack. Well, that's okay. Because we've got action adventure shows. Starting with Big Girls, number two, by Hooray. Jason Howard. Number one was so much fun. Now we got a number two. Hooray! We also have Blackwood, volume two, the morning after. Woo! I like that fluorescent orange on there. Very Ooh, bright. Yeah, very bright. Real nice. Bleed Them Dry, number three. That's been a fun series. Um, vampires. Nice. Bloodshot, number eight. Nice. All this blood. Tyler Kirkham cover. All this bloodin' and a bleeding. Boop -a boop. Dead Day, number three. Ooh. As well as Deja Thoris, number eight. We got an A cover by Lucio Perillo. And a another cover by Joseph Michael Lindsner. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looking real good. Devil's Highway, number three. Ooh, not much left there. Get it while you can. <gasps> Faithless, number two. Number four. Faithless, volume two. Number four. Hmm, what's going on there? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh -huh. But we also have a <gasps> Connecting Erotica cover by Tula Lote. Not for children, but guess what, guys? It's my pick of the week! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'll just put that there. <laughs> All right. We also have Fearless Dawn meets Hellboy, a one-shot. This cover by Steve Mannion? Right. Yes. And then we got this cool variant by Mike Mignola. Beautiful. <laughs> Never heard of Fearless Dawn, but it looks cool. I almost thought you were going to say, I never heard of Hellboy. <laughs> yeah, we, we used to get Fearless Dawn one-shots years ago, and now they've uh, moved Fearless Dawn over to Albatross Funny Books ah. with uh, her pal Hellboy, which awesome. she's hanging out with in this issue. Nice. Cool. Hooray. We also have Terry Moore's Five Years Omnibus. All in one big chunky boy. We've got Heavy, a new number one from Vaults. We have this cover by... I'm not sure who did this I one. I think that's the uh, interior artist, Eric Donovan. Cool. We got this cover by Gooden and Daniel. And then we have this cover by Donovan and Daniel. Ah, yes. okay, yeah. Very cool. And this is my pick of the week. Yay! Oh! Uh, this by Max Bemis and artist Eric Donovan. Awesome. Ian Fleming's James Bond, Agent 007, Reflections of Death hardcover. This is an all-original James Bond graphic novel by a cavalcade of superstars. Superstar. Little Bird, <gasps> Elders for Hope. Hey, look, Ooh. we've got it in trade for the first time. Yeah, Eisner this, winner. Yeah, Amazing. I was just going to say. Fancy. It was really good. I it was one it. of my top picks of last year, so... Lucy Claire Redemption Volume 1 by John Upchurch. Look, guys, it's got werewolves. And magic. Uh, uh, and magic and, and stuff. And swords. Awesome. 
Mag oh, magicians, new class. Tray paperback. <laughs> uh, first time in soft cover. Oh, money shot number eight. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. There's no innuendo on this cover, though. Nope, none at all. Wow. <laughs> Yet. The Old Guard, book two, Force Multiplied. Oh, book one was such a good time, and they did such a great job on the Netflix show. You can get the next chapter right here. Old Haunts, issue number 405 from AWA Upshot Comics. Oh, whoops. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's it's okay. Four. It's number four. But I remember <laughs> Once and future number eleven. Uh oh. That one's right. Uh oh. Outcast number forty six. Oh wow, big jump. That's okay. The merged part four. It's getting there. The possessed from Steve Niles. That's Ooh, creepy. The guy that brought you thirty days of night. Royal City, a Jeff Lemire a book. The complete collection. That's all three volumes in one. Nice. Oversized hardcover. I read this. That was a good book. Seven Secrets, number two. Finally, number two. Wow, we got so many printings in number one. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. And that's by Series Artist, and we got this one by... Uh, this looks like Dustin Nguyen, person. but it's probably not. Oh, it is Dustin Nguyen! Cool. Nailed it. Don't, don't doubt your powers, <laughs> I shouldn't. <Shay>. Yeah. <laughs> right? Something is killing the children! Second print of number eight. Somebody's buying all these issues. Still Water, a new number one from Ooh. Skybound and Chip Zdarsky. Mm-hmm. It was very pretty art by Ramon K. Perez. I got to read a preview of this, and it's a very intriguing book. If you're digging Chip Zdarsky's work on Daredevil right now, Ooh. you'll dig Still Water. Ooh. Nice. Sun Eater, number one from, oh, Heavy Metal. And a Vampirella, Trial of the Soul, a one-shot. She and looks like she's having a trial of her soul. Yeah. She's all like, my soul! Yarg! Oh. Mm. This guy's having a good time. And to wrap up our action adventure shove, we have You Look Like Death, Tales from the Umbrella Academy from Dark Horse. Is it 25 cents? No? no. Yes? No, but it's 3 dollars <laughs> What? <laughs> There's so many... Prices on this cover. Oh, like there's all this, yeah. Okay. Okay, this cover is by Gabriel Ba, and we've got the C cover by Ian J. Culbert, who does the interior art. Nice. Awesome. That's it? Yes. I wonder if that's Tales Pick of the Week. You think so? Maybe. Yeah. Ooh, maybe. That's okay. And that does it for Action Adventure. Hey, let's show you how we switched up the store a little bit. Oh, but first, well, we can stand in front of the switch up part. And see if there's anybody we need to give a shout out. Oh, there's yeah. a few people watching. Let's see. Viol Miles Van Meter is watching. Frank Guerrero is watching. Mike Mike Hilly says, hey. Hey, Mike. Hi. <laughs> uh, Stan says, hey now. Hey, Stan. Hey, hey. Stan, I'm going to, I'm gonna, just going to call you Stan W. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, Philip Little says, bad idea. Question mark? Oh. Wow. Well, there's, uh, there's a thing about the bad idea. Um, yeah. We'll talk to you about it more personally, Philip. We'll get that happening. Uh, let's know. see. Frank Guerrero says, great day to check out new comics. Hello, Hi. Green Brain Crew. Let's see. Casey Bath is watching. Hey. And let's see. Uh, D-Ray 3000 says, what up, Green Brain? Hello. He says, Heavy looks good. Also, can't wait for Batman 99. Oh, yeah. And a last second compliment for Shay's Lion Cat shirt. Oh, heck yeah. Love Saga. And that's, and that's from Eric McEwen. Thanks for joining us, nice. Eric. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, things look a little bit different over here on the side of the store. We have switched up. We have switched our fantasy adventure shelf. Over from or yonder to over near yonder. <laughs> that one just continues right along. Here's where our um, game dice are, if you're looking for dice. And then all the fantasy adventure books that we have over here. And new this week. <gasps> this might just be my pick of the week. Yay, because it's not damn <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
Headlopper returns with this first of four issues in this quarterly released awesome adventure comic. Yes, yeah, so good. This beautiful wow, cover. he's not wearing all his furs and stuff, and you can see how muscular he yeah, is. Yeah, he is a muscular man. Looking good. Uh, this is, of course, Flopping cover A by series creator Andrew, Andrew McLean. McLean. And cover B <gasps> by Daniel Warren Johnson. Whoa, right. look How at cool. that. Amazing. Heads are lopped. Yes. Awesome. Heads will be lopped. And while that's the only new release on the Fantasy Adventure shelf this week, look for plenty more in the future. Yes. Yay. Keep your eyes peeled. Mmm, peeled. And then we'll show you where the new graphic novels are now. Whoa, and it's Ooh. a giant graphic novel week. Hooray, they're all over here. Oh, wow. Look at all these graphic novels. We have Aqualantic. Aqua. Aqua. Aquatlantic. Yeah. Aquatlantic? Mm hmm. It looks really pretty. Very cool design work on this. This is from No Brow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Guantanamo Voices. True accounts from the world's most infamous prison. Ooh, that sounds heavy. Almost as heavy as the Mother Report. Mm -hmm. Now in hardcover. <laughs> By Shannon Wheeler. <laughs> That's the one. Slaughterhouse Five, a comic book adaptation of the classic Kurt Vonnegut novel. I didn't know that the subtitle was Or a Children's Crusade. <coughs> Wasn't that like a Vertigo book back in the nineties? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No um, no connection. And this adaptation is by Ryan North and Albert Montes. Nice. Tenacious D <laughs> post apocalypto. That's right, folks. Not only is Jack sure. Black an actor, a musician. He's also an artist, and he's the kind of artist that does all of his own stuff. <laughs> this is 100% Jack Black. Um, and no, it's 100% Tenacious D. It's 100% ten Tenacious <laughs> Which D. Which is Jack That's Black right. and... His pal. His pal. That old guy. man in a sidecar. That other guy. I want guy. to say his name is Ryan. I just was looking at it. Chuck. It's not Chuck. All right. Do, 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 do. Throw and me. This is kind of about Thoreau. Sure. It's a conversation that the author has with Henry David Thoreau to help him through some challenges in his life. Nice. Victory Point by Owen D. Pomery. Oh, I like that nice clean line. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Oh, that's a little face. Uh, it's from our pals at Avery Hill Publishing. And... Zebedee and the Valentines I by like Abs style. Bailey. Art style's cool. I like it. Abs Bailey is the most metal name. And also, the artist has a biopic in the back. Maybe I could show it. Or oh. is it? Oh, there's the biopic of the artist. <laughs> nice. Abs Bailey. So Wonderful. metal. Cool. But that's not all the new graphic novels. Let's show you over here our new graphic novel spotlight. It's the new Dirt Back Dirt book, Kent State, for Dead in Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, I read this book a while back, and it's still sticking with me. This is a powerful, powerful story about the four victims in the Kent State shooting way back those many 50 years ago. 50 years. And this is, of course, by multiple award-winning creator, Dirt Back Dirt. Uh, if I could have a graphic novel pick of the week, it'd be this. Oh, yeah. Kent State. And you can do whatever you want. I'm yeah. doing it. I was right. His name is Kyle. Kyle Gass. There he is. Jack Black. These Kyle are the other Gass, people that helped. And the rest. All right. Better. Next up. I'm my own fact checker. Next up, do you want to um, talk about the variants? The what's happening on Saturday? Let's give the people the DC first. We'll come around to the variants on in, in Saturday. Cool. Well, looks like we have Batman number 99, which is part five of the Joker War. We have this beautiful A cover by... Mm, not too sure. Oh, Jorge Jimenez. Cool. Right. We also got a beautiful LCD by Derek Chu. That's really nice. I like it. The Clown <laughs> Hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 
Detective Comics 1027, oh 144 God. page mega spectacular, the epic 1000 issue anniversary of The Dark Knight. Oh my God. <laughs> With a bajillion covers. This Are cover is by Andy Kubert. And. Ooh. That's, uh, what's his name? Sylvester Silvestri. Mark Silvestri, right. Awesome. Of course. It's J. Scott Campbell. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Art Germ. Awesome. They're so good. Ooh. Ooh uh, yes. Lee Bermejo, right? Lee Bermejo, That's yes. Correct. That's cool. I like the homage to the, the classic up here. Oh, we got this cover by Jim Lee. <laughs> And oh, we got another cover by. Oh, that's Frank Quitely. Frank Quitely. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> oh, they man. just keep coming. Oh, uh, Jim Chung. And uh, Oliver Quapel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gabriel Delano. Adam Hughes, and I think. I think oh, that's, that's it. it. Oh, oh my gosh. Goodness. Wow, that's that was a lot. The whole stack is literally one of every cover, and it <laughs> takes up the whole stack on itself. But this is 1,000 issue anniversary of the Dark Knight. What a 144 page mega thing that I was going to read and that Katie took it away. Oh, mega spectacular. Oh, it's a mega spectacular. <laughs> Hey, we also got a second print of number one of Batman. The adventures continue. Hooray. Uh, let's go up here for a second. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, Batman whoops. Curse of the White Knight hardcover. We already sold it out. Mm. Uh, we'll get some copies back in, but make sure you to let us know that you want it. But we do have Dark Knight Returns, the Golden Child, Deluxe Edition hardcover. Ooh, so deluxe. Oh, back to the Batman. Have the Batman's Grave. Uh oh, number 10. <laughs> That's a Brian Hitch. Cover and we got a B cover by Art Adams. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, nice. I like a lot. Very clean. I like those buildings. Catwoman number twenty-five. Another anniversary issue. Joel oh, Jones wow. cover. Lee Bermejo. Oh, that beautiful Lee Bermejo. Yep, that's it. Cool. Nice. DC's <laughs> Dead Planet number one. This cover is by Whoa, Peach Momoko. Look at that. Is that the only one we get? That is. Oh, oh, cause that's because that's number one fourth print. Yeah. Fourth print of number one and a second print of number two, black and white. David Finch. David Finch. David nice. Finch. That's right. Ooh, Justice League number fifty-three. Wow, that's a big stack. And it looks like Liam Sharp. Ooh, wow! Look at that. That's and beautiful. Who did that? Oh it looks like no. Maybe Derek Chu. Mm, maybe, maybe not. But that's okay. We also have Metal Man number 10. Dark what? Multiverse Metal Man. Uh-oh. This, uh... That's mm. Shane Davis, who did the interiors. And a Kevin Nolan B cover. Nice. Oh, it's Ian McDonald, guys. Oh, Ian wow. McDonald did the Very Justice nice. League Ooh, B. Yeah, I think this is Teen Titans number 45. Robin's and gone. We got a B cover by Carrie Randolph. Ooh, very nice. And I think that, oh, oh one more. <laughs> Uh-oh, right. Bonus. Joker, Killer Smile, hardcover from Black Label, which means it's not for kids. That's right. Well, I'm not sure that there's many Joker books that are for kids, but yeah. this is also for fans of Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino with colors by Jordi Belair. Jordi very Belair. pretty book. Nice. Okay, next up we got some variants. We've got Batman 99, a Jorge Jimenez character variant. Very nice. Beautiful. Iron Man number one to be announced. We have this cool RB Silva black and white variant. That's the uh, one per store party variant. Ooh, we got a premiere variant by the same person, but in color. Well, kind of. <laughs> and that was two per store. Hellions, number four, variant edition by Carlos Gomez, black and white. Yeah, beautiful. Thor, number seven. Yeah, the last name was Sharp that did the cover, but not sure the first name. Not Kevin Sharp. Whoa, look at this shiny ice cream man. So shiny. Whoa. Oh, it's the quarantine comic special. But shiny. But shiny. <laughs> Faithless, this cover is by Elsa Chiritier. Nice. It's very creepy, but it's very cool. cool. <laughs> very nice. Seven Secrets, covered by Mercado, which I assume is Miguel, but it right. might be someone else. 
We also have this Star Trek Year 5, number 14, cover by J.J. Lindell. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Wow. J.J. Lindell. Sure. All right. Got it. He's on Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up. I want to tell everybody what's happening this Saturday. What is happening this Saturday? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this Saturday, we to celebrate the end of Free Comic Book Summer, we're having Be a Hero Day at Green Brain Comics, where you can be the hero for the day by helping us help Gleaner's Food Bank. A selfie from Michigan. Normally on Free Comic Book Day, traditionally on Free Comic Book Day, we have a huge food drive where we collect a bunch of food for Gleaner's Food Bank. Well, since we did not have Free Comic Book Day this year, they missed out on that giant donation. Now, we are not collecting food, but what we are going to do this Saturday is we are going to donate 15% of all sales to Gleaner's that day. So every sale, every purchase that you make, 15% of that will go to Gleaners, so you can not only help out your local small business, you can help out Gleaners Food Bank in the process. Just want free comics? That's cool too. Just like on Free Comic Book Day, you could come in and just get some free comics, and then if you make an extra, if you make a donation to Gleaners Food Bank, you can get extra free comics, and we'll have all of this year's Free Comic Book Day comics, as well as maybe some of last year's free comics that we have left over in case you missed some last year. And so we'll have a big selection, and you can get as many as you want, depending on how much you donate to Gleaner's Food Bank. So you can be the hero, help Gleaner's Food Bank, help feed some people in these troubled times. This Saturday, September 19th, from 12 to 7. Yay! Yes. And some people may think this is in response to other holidays that are happening that day. Yeah. Um, like talk like a pirate day oh right i mean if you come in and talk like a pirate you know we might give you an extra free time <laughs> <laughs> there's also meow like a pirate day what <laughs> for some Rounds, ladies <laughs> I don't well know how just so you know this isn't in response to that okay meow, meow. but if you want to talk like a pirate you're allowed arg arg <laughs> all right now let's keep this store tour going Start to scanning the shelves. Uh, Adventures of the Wasteland trade paperback. Captain America number 23. Cover by Alex Ross. And we got a timeless uh, cover of Variant also by Alex Ross. And we have another cover. Oh I think. boy. Yes, we have oh. this Heroes at Home by Variant by Goody Hero and Zeb Wells, apparently. Captain nice. America, make it some pasta. Well, yeah. <laughs> he just didn't feel like doing the dishes. Oh. <laughs> He's not very carb smart. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Yeah. Yeah, that is last week. This is new. Oh, the last happen. week was for 21. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, Captain Marvel, number 19, second print. Hooray. Ah, or not. On. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're all still in um, near mint condition, I promise. <laughs> uh, Empire number four, second print. <laughs> Conan, Battle for the Serpent Crown, number five. Ooh. Immortal Hulk number zero. Question mark, question mark? He's just a little baby. So this goes way back to the early days of the Hulk. When you, like, his uh, first minutes? This is a pretty menacing-looking baby doctor. It does have a couple of important reprints in here. It does have a new framing sequence written by Al Ewing. Nice. Also, Immortal Hulk number 37. Cover by Alex Ross. Another cover by Alex Ross, a timeless variant. Ooh, Alex Ross is a busy boy. Yes, he is. Iron Man number one. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we have this cover by Alex Ross, it looks like. We have another timeless variant by Alex Ross. We got this cover by R.B. Silva. We got this cover by, I, I'm assuming Hidedeki something. It doesn't say, but that's okay. We got this Dustin Weaver variant, and that's it. Phew! Woo. <laughs> so many variants of Iron Man number one. Somebody Alex decided Ross. to start over, number one again. 
And Ooh. this A cover is a wraparound. Ooh. That's nice. Very nice. The Magnificent Miss Marvel. <laughs> Second print of number 13 with the first appearance of Amulet. Our Dearborn superhero. He's from Ooh. Dearborn, guys. <laughs> so cool. The Amazing Spider-Man, The Sins of Norman Osborn. Cover yes. by, oh, sorry. Whoa. Ryan Otley. <laughs> yes. And then we have another cover by Casanova's. Is this a one-shot? And this is a one-shot that ties directly into the series' current storyline as they explore Sins. Sins Rising. Sins Rising. Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, Spider-Women. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, trade paperback graphic novel thing. <laughs> Star number two, second print. Thor number seven. That cool cover. And we have another cover by Nick Klein. Ooh, that's cool. I like that, despite that he's all um, looking Spreading pretty things. disheveled. Oh, yeah, and that man spread. <laughs> uh, this does feature a uh, one-shot story by Donny Cates and Aaron Cooter on art. Nice. Cool. Excalibur, number 12. Exciting. Hellions, number four. Also this, exciting. Got this cover by Steven Segovia. Oh. Ooh, we got another one by Carlos Gomez. Mm, full color, pretty. It is real nice. X-Men, number 12. I'm not sure who did that one. one cover. That's, uh, that's Lionel U. Nice. Giant size X-Men special storm. Cover by Russell Dodderman. Nice. Cover by <gasps> Jen Bartel. It's Ooh. beautiful. And we got a timeless variant by Alex Ross. Nice. Classic. Yeah, Very that's nice. one of my favorites from this timeless so far. Uh, we also got the collected volume of X-Men and the Fantastic oh. Four. Marvel's Snapshots, X-Men. Another cover by Alex Ross. Oh my goodness, it's Alex Ross week. Okay, and back up to the top Ooh. for a few True Believers. True Believers. Reprinting key issues in the story of New Mutants. Is this a first appearance of Cypher? Yep. First appearance of Cypher. Mm, X-Men featuring Havoc. The man called Havoc. Also, Storm, Ileana, Magic. Number one. Magic with a K. Magic with a K. And one last Marvel release. Oh, uh, X-Men Milestones, Second Coming. Ooh. Ooh. The one where they all wear black leather. Nice. They're going to a They're party. They're so metal. They're going to a special party where you have to wear black leather. We've got Star Wars. Check it out. <laughs> that wraps up the Marvel show. <laughs> Star Wars number six. We got two covers, an A and an uh, action a uh, figure variant. Look, mm -hmm. Star Wars fans, a yellow lightsaber. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> we also have Star Wars Darth Vader number five, covered by Leon Hayuk. And then we have another cover. I think this is by Chris Sprouse. Yes. Yes. Very pretty. Ooh, we also have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple. That's a long title. It is. <laughs> Over on the YA show. YA! We've got Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 12 Library Edition! Wow. <laughs> also a long title. You kept up the excitement all the way through it. I'm trying. Oh, we also got Season 11 as well. Firefly number 20. Blue Sun Rising. I'm confused. But that's okay. We got a prelude, apparently. But yeah, this is a new story that's happening within the series. G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, Dead Game. We got a second print of number one. The most exciting Rob Liefeld comic of, oh, that's of right. this decade. It's happening right now in a second print. Speaking of second print, we got a number one second print of Power Rangers, Draken, New Dawn. All right. And last but not least, to wrap up our young adult show, we have Star Trek Year 5, number 14. I think that's it. <sighs> <laughs> uh -oh. This looks like a uh, classic Marvel cover. If uh, anybody wants a very real and physical no prize, mm -hmm. let me know. Oh. Yeah. Let me know if uh, you think you know what the uh, inspiration for this Star Trek cover is. 
You look like he's crying blood. <laughs> yeah, crying blood. Blood crier. Oh, yeah, he's got blood coming out of his eye hole. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, was there any uh, any comments that we need to address? Yeah, let me turn my volume off the here. the last couple uh, kids' graphic novels? Let's see. Um... Well, let's see. We've got a few people watching. William Rushlow's watching. Danny Solgott's watching. Hey, Danny. Our, our pal Angelo Aquino's watching. Hey, Angelo. Uh, Dan Wicket says, you folks simply rock. No, Dan, you rock. Yay! <laughs> uh, Philip Little asked for a Thor number seven. You got it, Philip. Pulling you right now. And Ooh, that how that service? Look at that service. And that catches us up. Nice. Where are we going from here? Ooh, well, I think we just have one book on each shelf. So we can come around to the all ages. And we have Peanut, Butter, and Crackers, Aww. Puppy Problems, written and illustrated by Paige Braddock, who wrote Jane's World, right. which was the first nationally syndicated comic strip featuring a gay character. And also, I think Paige Braddock is the one of the only artists that can draw officially licensed Peanuts characters. Oh, Something really? Like, like she yeah. owns the? No, she doesn't own it, oh. but she's been she's been given special permission. Well, she owns the, that special permit. Yeah, she yeah. owns that clearance. Yeah. The Flower of the Witch by Enrico Orlandi. And this is on our middle grade selection. And then I think this wraps up our uh, younger graphic novel section with Hench Girl Second Edition Expanded Second Ooh. Edition by Kristen Goodsnuck. Yes. Always quirky, occasionally touching, and surprisingly dark. Yeah, it had some dark spots in it that we thought, hmm, I guess I guess those YA kids can handle it. Sure. <laughs> they're good. They're big kids. Why, A, you're practically a young adult at that point. LOL. <laughs> oh, all right. That wraps up this week's episode of Brain Scan. Be sure to check in every week, every Tuesday at 6.30 on our Facebook page or catch us later on our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to like, share, and comment so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode. But also, stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook. YouTube, Instagram, but on Twitter we are Green Brain CMX. What's that? <laughs> deep, deep. Shop our web store at GreenBrainComics.com and do all of your pre-orders at ComicHub.com. Be sure to pick Green Brain Comics as your store. And anything else to add? Uh, well, we just got another request from Frank. We'll take care of that, Frank. Uh, check out the website, greenbraincomics.com. This Saturday is Be a Hero Day. Yeah. Not in reaction to any other day that's happening that day. <laughs> but also, keep in mind that we are always spreading the love of graphic novels and comic books from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Feature Brain! Brain. <laughs> that was a good wind up. We'll be here. <laughs> and the pitch. Yeah. Comics. <laughs> See you tomorrow, folks. Thanks, everybody. Happy Thanks for joining. Time. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being awesome. Oh, we no, love you you're all. Awesome.